All right, guys, welcome back to another HIO free to play walkthrough. Today we have Death at 9 to 5, a short narrative about a shitty job review. A game by David the Fish Sanchez. Greasy Beagle Game Manufacturer 2019. The fish is here. Fuck all. Well, Shane, it's after 5, so it's probably best if we wrap this up, Mr. Kuak said, a smug grin on his face, which was decorated with bad skin. It was 532. Everyone had already left the office. Yeah, it was time 32 minutes ago, you fucking idiot, Shane thought to himself. 90 days of video production for Red Cherry Bicyclery, and Shane had already forgotten, gotten a good feel for how things operated. The work was piled on with no warning, and while Shane, Shane certainly wasn't opposed to doing more, he hoped proper compensation was in order. Call it wishful thinking, but the quality of work and the resulting ad revenue that came along with it was certainly worth more than your proverbial pat on the back. Is there anything else we need to talk about, Shane asked, hinting at a potential compensatory raise that was not once brought up during his prob probationary review. Mr. Kuak stayed silent and quiet for two seconds, two long unnecessary seconds. Bring up the very awkward subject of getting the race. Eh, just tell him, though. Okay, um, this is kind of awkward, but is there going to be any sort of a conversation? Apparently you want it, so you might as well tell him. Shane asked, feeling the back of his neck grow hot. Not because he was embarrassed to ask for a well-deserved raise, but because he was furious about having to ask. I'm glad you asked, Mr. Kruak said. Completely unhappy that Shane asked. As I told you during your review, your work is great. You could be better. That's not a knock against you. There's just it's always room for improvement. And I think you will agree here. You'll agree. But so far, I think you have potential to really find success here. The past three months have shown me that. Don't take no guff. Well, it seems like he's going to give me the raise. Bite my tongue. Give me the raise. You've been here for three months, said Mr. Kulak. I'm sure you've gotten to know Chad by now. As you know, he's an important part of the team, but he didn't start out where he is now. He worked first as customer service and eventually worked his way up to marketing. Yeah, he told me that. He left for a while left for a while to start his own business, right? Yes. But we're not I I'm not doing any voice acting for this one. We're not really talking about that right now. I want to talk about the long-term plan I have for you all, for all my employees. I like to call it the CHAD plan. Basically, it's my goal to provide a working environment where employees can find a good fit within the company and do something long-term. Okay, well, I'm not going to lie to you and say the CHAD plan is something I'm interested in right now because you hired me to do a video, so that's what I'm focusing on. It's something I do well and would like to keep doing. Okay. <laughs> then, Mr. Kulak. So let's talk about a raise. You're at 14 right now, but your work is pretty good. Pretty good, Shane thought to himself. You fucking asshole. I want you to keep on growing, and I believe you have potential to keep on growing, said Mr. Kuak. That smug grin returning to his face. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to offer you an aggressive raise. Oh, thank God. You're at... $14, I'm going to bump you up to $14.75. I'd say that's a pretty aggressive raise, wouldn't you agree? That's it. Dane stood up and outraged at what he had just heard. Mr. Kulak stared at him with a confused look on his face. His smug grin was gone and Shane walked up to him. He knew what was coming. All it took was a single right hook. He left, walked out of Mr. Kulak's office closed the door behind him and walked towards his car, content at the fact that he was no longer working for a cheap bastard of a man who never tended to pay him what he was worth. He would probably have to deal with the lawsuit, which he didn't have the money to counter, which in turn meant he was going to spend some time in jail. But hey, it was worth it the end. All right, let's do that one. Aggressive. I don't know why what I, that I would call 75 cents aggressive, said Shane. Honestly, I was hoping for a little more given the quality of work that and the load, workload I've taken on. Everything is a process here, said Mr. Kuak. There will be more raises in the future. Granted, you take on the proper workload. Again, I have a roadmap for you. 
and that I would want you to follow. That's how you'll find the most success, and that's how you will become be where you want to be financially. Jane looked at Mr. Kulak in awe. He didn't know what to say. In one fell swoop, this man, this garbage can of a man, has essentially told him there's no future in the company unless he went along with the stupid chat plan. Your workload is actually the next thing I want to talk to you about. I noticed you take time. You take your time when you're shooting and editing videos. Is there a reason why it takes you so long to get to a video completed? You have got to be fucking kidding me. Everything's a process, my dude. I mean, everything's a process, isn't it? Sarcastically echoing Mr. Kuek's tone. Okay. <laughs> Respond, Mr. Kuek. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. I don't take any longer than I need to when I'm working. Editing takes time. Finding the right filters and lighting and angles also takes time. Sometimes I need to learn certain procedures, so I need to do a bit of research and teach myself how to do it. I take as long as I need in order to make sure the work is done correctly. That being said, I think you can work at a faster pace. And once I see that you're working to your fullest potential, I will be more than happy to consider further raises. I fucking hate you. For now, though, we should call it a day. We'll see where you are in three months. Maybe hmm, six months. In six months, you'll have your next review, and we can discuss where you are at a further time. Jay nodded, a disillusioned look on his face. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. He did not seem... He did not seem Shane the other day. The next day, though. Shane never returned. The meeting left him feeling like there was no career growth in his future. So he stayed in bed the following day. He couldn't get up. He just stared at the ceiling for what seemed like an eternity. Jane never returned to Red Cherry Bicyclery. He didn't immediately get a job either. He entered a depressed state and relied for months on the little savings he had. Soon, though, the money ran out and Shane was left jobless, broken, discouraged, and lost. The end? Hey, question mark. Seriously? Okay, you know what, Kuak? Shane said, fuck you and fuck this job. Shane walked out of the office and never looked back, probably for the better. His life still sucked afterward, but sucked slightly less if he would have stayed at, I'm assuming that's supposed to be stayed, at Red Cherry Bicyclery. The end. Ah. Ugh. Shane opened his mouth, but it took a moment for the words to come out. So many th thoughts were going through his head. He wanted to call Mr. Kulak for the filth that he was. Here was this business owner, a millionaire, who used petty and accurate complaints to lowball his employees. Shane had no clue what he was signing up for when he took this job, but after 90 days of working for this heinous human being and two hours in a meeting with him right now, Shane knew exactly the type of monster he was dealing with. Honestly, Mr. Kulak, I'm a bit offended that you're coming with, at me like that. I'm not sure you've, if you've ever done video work. I'm assuming you haven't. It takes time to get something to the standard of a multi-million dollar company. I take pride in my work, and I'm not going to half-ass it like your previous employees have. Okay, <laughs> said Mr. Kuak. Fuck you, dude. I'll accept the 75 cent raise, but please don't tell me that my quality of work and my work at Catholic are poor. Poor is the quality of work and the videos created by your previous employees. That's also reflective of the work ethic. Because they clearly didn't take pride in what they did. I do. Sensing that you're a bit defensive right now, said Mr. Kuak. I'm not defensive, but I have to stand up for myself if false assumptions are being made about me. I feel like you're being defensive. I'm not being defensive. Okay? <laughs> Moving on. Because I know you probably want to go get home. For now, we'll stay at the 75% raise. And we'll assess your work and productivity in three months. Hmm, make that six months. You son of a bitch. Okay, Shane responded. He almost let out a sigh of disappointment with his response. All right, see you tomorrow then. Shane stood up and walked out the office. He went to his desk to grab his phone and laptop. As soon as he passed it, he walked out. He passed by Mr. Kruak's office. He didn't dare look in there because if he did, he was probably mortar Mr. Kruak. Feeling a gut punch of defeat, Shane walked to his car. He sat in the driver's seat feeling dejected. Six months came and went. After having to be reminded by Shane that it was review time, Mr. Kuak offered yet another aggressive raise, 25 cents, 25 paltry cents. Shane continued to work at Red Cherry Bicycle Tree, 
because he needed the work, but each day he walked through the doors, a small piece of him died. The end, question mark. All right, let's see what else we can get. This isn't worth it. Okay, you know what, Mr. Kulak? Fuck you, fuck the shop. We already got this in me. Okay. Okay. Don't take no guff. Well, I think it's... I bring a certain level of quality in my work that I hasn't been present in all any of your previous interviews. Previous video guys' contents. Shane said, I'm always eager to learn new things and obtain new skills. There's proper compensation involved. But my work the past three months has been great, and not that's not me bragging or being overconfident. It's the truth. Keep talking. You know, Shane said, I had heard some pretty bad stories from a couple of guys who left shortly after I came in, and I really wanted to know, believe that they were just blown things that they were just being blown out of proportion. But man, I'm starting to think these guys were right about you. Shane thought about whether or not he should continue, but ultimately he didn't give a damn. You're just a cheap bastard. I was hoping that wasn't the case, but it is. There was no turning back now. You're completely out of line, Shane. Then, Mr. Kulak, I can't believe I even hired you. Honestly, hearing you lash out like this, I still I see now that hiring you is probably the biggest mistake I've ever made. Okay, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm Shane stood up outraged at what he just he had just heard. Mr. Kulak stared at him with a confused look on his face. The smug grin was gone, and as Shane walked up to him, he knew what was coming. All it took was a single right hook. Oh, jail again. Let's let him speak. Okay, said <laughs> Mr. Kulak in that very obvious tone. He was known to use. <laughs> uh, at this point... The conversation was just growing more and more awkward and uncomfortable for Shane because he knew he was dealing with a man who very clearly did not want to give him a raise even though he had already started at a very low base rate of pay. This was going to turn into a war either today or in the near future. Let me ask you this, said Mr. Kulak. Let me ask you this. was one of the most used phrases. It usually led to more bullshit. You know, before we got get into any more talk about raises, do you see yourself growing in the company? Yes. I can definitely see myself being a part of the company and continuing to bring quality content. That's good to know. I can see that too. There's something I'd like to do with all of my employees. And that's I like to develop a roadmap for them. Usually within the first three months, I begin to gauge where you would fit on the team and see what your equal long-term goals would be. You've been here for three months, said Mr. Kulak. I was sure you've gotten to know Chad by now. Are we back at the chat thing? Yeah, we're back at the chat thing. We just looped. That was a loop. Do I have a say? Honestly, I applied and interviewed for the job, interviewed for the video production position, said Shane. Kind of under the pressure that I would grow within that field here. Okay, <laughs> fuck Mr. Kua. Well, I wouldn't put you in a different role for some time. Right now, we need you where you are. You're here because you. we need the video content. And like I said, you're pretty good. But the real growth here is outside the creative department, and I think you can learn a lot from Chad. Chad was M Mr. Kuwak's right-hand man, a despot in his own right, who was always willing to step on other people's necks as if it meant growth within the company for him. Fuck Chad. Later that night, Shane stayed awake in bed. All he could think about was that meeting. Mr. Kuak was never going to pay Shane what he was worth, or a living wage, for that matter. But jobs aren't exactly easy to come by, despite what any Yahoo will tell you. So Shane stayed up thinking about the meeting and prepared mentally for the following day. The next day in the long line of shitty days. It wouldn't get better. It would never get better. The end. Is that the actual the end? Uh, let's see what else we got. Yes, question mark. Maybe, says Shane, not hiding his uncertainty. Hmm, said Mr. Kuak. Well, that's disappointing. Disappointing for me, too, because I was so, really hoping that after the probationary period, there would be some more obvious room for growth, said Shane. Let me ask you this, Mr. Kuak. What are your thoughts on switching roles? Not necessarily right away, but down the road. Hmm. You've been here for three months, so... Uh... 
No, that's back to the other thing. Ugh. Oh, that's the same thing too. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know if there's any more endings. We'll see though. Mr. Kuak wasn't saying anything. This already awkward meeting was growing damn near painful at this point. Shane didn't know if he should say any something or continue waiting for Mr. Kuak to say anything. Something, anything. This has gotten too awkward. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're back at the fuck it. I've read this one as well. Go back. Okay, you know what? No, uh, okay. Is that it? Oh, well, that's the full game, guys. I think that's all the interactions. Um, I just want to give some thoughts on this game because I, I think there needs to be more backstory. Because really, it seems like... Sh so Shane's been working there. I don't know how that business works at all. I've not had a video editor, so I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But asking for a raise like three months into the job kind of seems crazy to me. Because you signed up to get to work for that wage i don't know how that works at all and honestly well i guess it depends on where you live too because some people need more money than others where i live 14 dollars is actually pretty good freaking wage but i don't know i don't really feel super <laughs> sensitive to shane's plight here he kind of just seems like he's acting like a kid he's not acting like an adult with the job but you never know i like i said there's a lot of information that's left out of this I can understand the frustrating when, frustration when you're expecting something, but it's always better to go in with low expectations and you can't get upset like that. Very important lesson to learn. But thanks for watching as always, guys. If you could, please like and subscribe. And if you think this is the game of the week, vote in the top right. There is a thing you can click and hopefully I'll be able to tally all the people that vote and then whichever wins will win a $5 donation. But yeah. It was, uh, I don't know, it was I. Right. Bye!